<ride> il video che chi dura da dura si fa preferisco prima un pizzo di fine con il suo Take a trip, for boat! Hello, and welcome to Clockwork Island, where a wonderful vision of the future awaits you. I am sorry, I really must amend my greeting. I regret to inform you that normal visits are suspended, due to the higher than usual risk of death. Professor Faraday's creations are currently stuck in murderous mode. I, however, pose no threat. The Huxley model is programmed for non-violent interaction only. And since I am the only model currently in existence, I have no one to interact with. This has activated my loneliness mode. With the right components, I could construct a new companion for myself. But my programming requires me to remain here and less escorting visitors. Perhaps you could obtain these items for me, while pacifying the less tourist-friendly models in the process. I calculate your chances of success at well over 50%, and your chances of survival are only slightly lower. This is How very gracious of you. Please return the materials to me as soon as possible. I am a social robot, and having no one to talk with is causing me agony and rust. Why the professor programmed me to be able to experience agony is beyond my ability to comprehend. He is a great man.
After years of imprisonment, I have finally returned to my beloved island. I thought I would never see it again. My industries may have been handed over to that unscrupulous villain, Reaver, and my name may have been struck from all official records, but at least I am with my creations once again. If Logan or whoever sits on the throne now still wishes to take them, they will find me prepared. intentions. He has demanded I hand over the army, and I can tell from his manner that he has gone power mad and means to use them for harm. If I refuse, he has threatened not only to confiscate all my industries, but to lock me up forever. But I will stand firm. My creations must remain pure, no matter what the cost. Oh, I should be this station. Yes. Good evening. 
tuh nama kita ini. I have tried in vain to construct a sock puppet that I might converse with. Alas, there are no socks on Clockwork Island. The first component, very good. I will begin assembly immediately. Step one, wait for you to deliver an additional component so that I have something to attach the first to. Initiating patience mode. You have acquired an additional component and my gratitude is boundless. It was 0.75 when you agreed to help me. It is now 1.0. Thank you for acquiring this component. I will incorporate it into the build. Thank you for acquiring this component. I will incorporate it into the build. Thank you for acquiring this component. I will incorporate it into the build. This is the final component. Now I can complete my work. Thank you, and please do not get in my way. I have tried in vain to construct a sock puppet that I might converse with. Alas, there are no socks on Clockwork Island. Pop, pop. I made use of my jocularity mode there, of course. All that remains is to activate the new unit. Hello, I am Huxley. You are not Huxley, I am Huxley. Please do not become confrontational with your guide, as I am only here to help. How can I be of service? to go on a cruise. No offense. What happened? It was Turner. He's been here all along. He, he never left the island. Where's Hobson? He took him. Turner's been playing with us, playing with you. This is what he wanted all along, to lure you into a trap. He's been using hidden passages behind the walls. He's somewhere in the prison. I don't care what happens to Hobson, but we have to find Turner. He left through here.
This is the pit. If he's hiding with all these loot, it doesn't matter. They're out of their misery now. You're hurt. I'll be all right. I'm no hero, though. Stay here. I can deal with Turner alone. I'm sure you can. You have powers the rest of us can only dream of. There might be more coming. Go. I'll hold them off while I can. It's all right, Hudson. Awake, your majesty. Good. I was afraid I might have set too high a charge. But then, you have powers the rest of us can only dream of. Hobson was mistaken. There was a third prisoner. General Turner. The finest soldier I ever served under. The finest man I ever knew. Died six months ago. I couldn't save his life. But I wasn't going to let everything he believed in die with him. You see, it's time for a true revolution. And how does one bring down a queen? How does one bring down a hero? By becoming one.
vehicle and keep it from the boss. It worked. To the end of kings and queens. I've seen spilled in the name of the crown. And how many have wasted away in prisons like this one just for speaking their minds? You called yourself a revolutionary, but what changed? We swapped one ruler for another. What gives you the right to dictate our lives? Your hero blood. Do you think it makes you better than us? Well, now it's my blood too. Witchcraft Mary may have been insane, but her work was inspired. I studied it for years in the city of Free, but she didn't know how to use that knowledge. Why become a filthy beast when you can become a god? General Turner wanted a military coup, but I've had a better idea. I will simply take your place. I've seen how you behave. I've seen how you fight, how you make decisions. I know how to be you. And as Queen of Albion, I will end the crown forever. I watched Turner rot in his cell, too sick to save. I took care of him as best I could. And I learned the truth about our supposedly glorious Albion. Two identical heroes can't overcome each other. We would be locked in battle forever, always evenly matched. But I made sure the prisoners on this floor did some of my work. Now, I'm stronger. I've watched you use these powers time, but to feel them coursing through me. It's incredible. Another revolution has failed. Perhaps it's as it should be. I don't know that I could ever have given up such power. Just remember this, Queen. Albion doesn't need you to sit on its throne. One day, the people will claim their freedom.
That was quite an extraordinary and most unpleasant turn of events, if you don't mind me saying so. I never did trust Commander Milton, of course, but to attempt a coup by taking your place, why, it's diabolical. His death should serve as an example yeah. to all. And to think he was loyal to a traitor like General Turner. We should be thankful the General was a rather sick man when he was imprisoned, or Milton might have let him walk free. Your Majesty, let me give you a status update on the prison. We've accounted for all prisoners. All living inmates are secure, and final casualty tolls are being tabulated as we speak. The perimeter has been inspected, with security breaches identified and repaired. Patrols have returned to normal, with guard ships rotating every six hours. We're all sleeping easier since you ran down those thugs, and the cemetery's quiet. And so now, your Majesty, I've performed all my duties. Now's the time when I'd normally await further orders, but I'm not likely to get any with Commander Milton no longer uh, in command. He had a set of books which covered different aspects of the penal system. They'd be awfully useful, but they disappeared during the riot. I think you could keep an eye out for them. Thank you, Your Majesty. I knew I could rely on you. This set of keys should give you access to all areas of the island. And my house home. Uh, I'm gonna need those back, <laughs> if it's all the same to you. General Turner's papers were removed from this room, but you may still be able to find them the somewhere the island. Of volume one. Prison security. Security is the primary responsibility of the commanding officer assigned to any correctional facility. It is of such paramount importance that it must supersede all other priorities. The only conceivable exception to this inviolable rule is in cases where a member of prison staff is in mortal peril. For example, if prisoners, in the cause of an escape attempt, have taken a staff member hostage. In such a case, it is entirely permissible to temporarily reduce security as in response to a hostage taker's express demand, with full intention of restoring full security as soon as possible. Only once security is restored, should the commanding officer attempt to neutralize or recapture the inmate or inmates responsible for the lapse. The only exception to this rule is again, a case where a staff member's life is threatened. Basically, any time they threaten a member of staff, and then try to fix things later as best it you can. Phenologist's Handbook, Volume 3, and perhaps you Conjugal can. Visits. Contrary to popular opinion, a conjugal visit is not when a teacher visits the prison and teaches the inmates about verbs. Conjugal visits do not actually involve verbs at all. Well, they do. Actually, they can involve a surprising number depending on the disposition, creativity, gender, and quantity of prisoners involved. But none bears repeating here. Just use your imagination. But not too often, as this can be harmful. Any books you find, just bring them back to me and I'll review them carefully. Well, maybe you can't read them something you've never read. Roger's brilliance that he had the inspired 
idea for us to create wax heads, complete with hair stolen from the barber's shop to leave in our bucks to buy us time. It's too bad he's only just had the idea now and did it before we left. That must be the guards I hear coming. Ah! Anologist's Handbook, Volume 2. Health and Hygiene. Anytime human beings live together en masse in cramped quarters, hygiene quickly becomes a pressing concern. The fact is that most prisons prioritize security and order over prisoner comfort, which is all well and good, but in the summer it can be quite intolerable depending on climate. Prisoners should be given the opportunity to bathe and launder their garments regularly. Anything under once every three months, and you are just asking for trouble. Phonologist's Handbook, Volume 5, Prison Governance. In the event that a correctional facility's commanding officer is killed or incapacitated, authority for the facility should be transferred to the next highest ranking officer. For example, a captain, lieutenant or second lieutenant. In the absence of an available officer, authority then transfers to the highest ranked enlisted man, in descending order as follows. Staff Sergeant, Sergeant, Corporal, Lance Corporal, Private. Should there be no enlisted men able to fulfill the duties of command, authority hereafter transfers to prison staff, the composition of which may vary between institutions, as follows. Surgeon, Doctor, Nurse, Cook, Janitor, Groundskeeper. If none of these are available, the prisoner likely has larger problems than determining who is in command. Handbook, Volume 4, Health and Safety Facilities. 
Every prison should have a sterile, well-stocked, and fully staffed infirmary. If you do not have a clean and well-maintained infirmary, you could face drastic cuts in funding, or even a reprimand should you be visited by certain representatives of the Bureau of Prisons, who may or may not have particular political leanings and or an axe to grind. Trust us on this. An ancillary benefit of having a functioning infirmary is that your prisoners will be healthier. Kids. Ah, you found the first book. I'm sure it will give me loads of ideas. Great. You found another book. Can't wait to read it. Another book. Great stuff. I'll read this as soon as my ship is over. Fantastic. Another book. I look forward to reading this one. Excellent. That's the last book. With all these at my fingertips, I'll have every answer at my... Well, at my fingertips. I suppose the only person I take orders from now is you, Your Majesty. So, what about it? What's your first order for me? Of course, the most pressing issue is deciding how this facility should be run from now on. You could release all the political prisoners. That's sure to endear you to the public. Or you could just leave things as they are. That's often the simplest choice and the least paperwork. And of course, you could lock up more innocent people. No one would dare oppose you with a threat of ending up here. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'll inform the men of your decision, Your Majesty. Bye. How are you this fine day? I'm all grown up now.
kill. Oh, oh god, more gears of keys. Where are we going? Maybe in not the snow. It's nice to have you back home. Why does us don't squeeze too nah. hard? <sighs> Do you have I sometimes I wish it was the last time? It's the only... Well, hello there. I could use your help, you know, cleaning up the streets. Really? Mm. I used to open myself to the world when it was different, happy. Prosperous, peaceful, but that world is gone, and today's is a tragic and horrible place. I find myself feeling protective, sad, closed off. Is there anything left that is not evil and corrupt or broken and miserable? Anyone who is still innocent, pure, happy, the sight of one such person, no matter how small would do so much for my spirits. I would open myself to the world again. Oh, look at her. She's beautiful. She is absolutely... I cannot find the words. I had forgotten what beauty was, but this child... <laughs> she is just... <laughs> I mean, I cannot even. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you both. I will now... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's, she's just so innocent, so sweet. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. It felt good to let it out. Maybe there is still some goodness in the world. Maybe... Oh, I think I heard something. Ez volt a Fable 3. Ez volt a majd a legörülket így játszásunk közé. Oké. Okay. Ennyi volt. Hát van még a Fable Journey, de ez kinek lesz is, és nincs nekem ilyen kicsit. Nem tudom, hogy se tudok már játszani valahogy. De majd meglátjuk. Ennyi volt. Szevasztok.